All right, the last of the um, discrete probability distributions we're going to look at is the Poisson distribution. Now, the Poisson distribution has this definition, and you're going to find the Poisson links discrete and continuous random variables. And so, a Poisson consists of counting the number of times some event occurs in a given interval. That interval can be time, area, volume, it can be anything that, that, that's measured some width. And th that interval is really going to end up being um, what we think of as um, this part here really is continuous. Um, the probability of the event occurring is the same in each interval. And the number of occurrences in one interval is independent of the number of, of occurrences in other intervals. So what that does for us is it creates um, it, it creates a, a case where we have had this smearing. So let's, let's look at look at the formula for it, and we'll build that formula in, into some examples. So let me switch screens. There we go. And so for the Poisson distribution, named after the French mathematician that discovered it probability of some random variable is the mean in that interval to the power of x e which is a special number on the calculator to the negative of the mean over x factorial Now, E is a special number, it's on your calculator, it's um, 2.718, uh, I think just on most calculators, 1818, it doesn't repeat, it's not a repeating decimal, in fact it changes down, um, E is like pi, it's one of those numbers. Um, that gets generated and, and is a non-repeating decimal. It just happens right near the front here. Um, these digits are the same. But your calculator has a key for it. And um, there are tables in the book, um, in the Appendix A. Um, there are copies of the Poisson tables. But let's look how the Poisson distribution is used so we can get an idea of this here. Alright, so the problem we're going to look at is going to be, let's see if I can get this here. Alright. The mean number of accidents at a given intersection is 3 per month. So, number of accidents at a given intersection per month. And I hope we can appreciate where the smearing or the time interval comes into. Because the interval is per month. And the obvious here is, and what, how this really bridges between the discrete and the continuous is, well, my month could start on the 5th and run to the next 5th, or my month could start on the 1st and run to the next 1st, right? We get that definition of a continuous variable that's smearing there. And in this case, the average that's happening is 3. And so what we want to ask is, what is the chance, if I look at one month, of four accidents happening? So the probability of four is going to be three to the fourth, e to the negative third, over four factorial. So let's do that on the calculator here. Now, when I have things like this on the calculator that have a complicated numerator, uh, I'm going to, to put it here. 
And so, oops, clicked off. I have three to the fourth times, now e is the second of the natural log can. It gives me e to the, and I need to use the negative as the, not the subtraction, but the negative sign, negative third. And then I divide by, and I'm dividing by four factorial. And down to factorial. And I get 0 0.168031. Let's put that over here. Oops, let's put it over here. And so 0 0.1680, 0 0.168031. And we'll just leave it there. We'll say approximately 0 0.1680. Do four decimal places for now. All right. All right, well, that's a nutty expression to put in. Hopefully, our calculator has something that makes it easier for us. And it does. So we come in and we go to second and vars for distributions. And we go to the Poisson probability distribution function. Hit enter. And now, this is what it uses, the Poisson distribution, they use lambda for the mean. And so in our case, our mean was 3. We wanted to know what the x value would be if it was 4. And look, we get the same thing. So that saves us some extra steps. For people with the TI-30s or the other calculators, you have to use these functions. If you keep your parentheses in, you'll do okay. All right, let's look at another Poisson distribution problem. Let me just get, clean our blackboard off here. And what we'll do is we'll look at another way that um, we can have a given number in a in a smeared out realm. And so because a population count shows that the average number of rabbits per acre living in a field is 3.6. Use the table to find the probability. Well, we're, we're not going to use the table. We're going to calculate. Find the probability that seven rabbits are found in a given acre. So let's. So the idea is we have some acre of land, and normally there's an average of 3.6 rabbits. We want to know what's the chance of us finding seven. What's the probability of finding seven? But an acre, right? smears. And so notice this is our nice link between discrete probabilities and continuous probabilities. So the probability of 7 with our mean being 3 is going to be e to the negative mu mu to the x over x factorial or 3.6 to the 7th times e to the negative 3.6 over 7 factorial. And we'll come in here. We'll, we'll play it easy though. We'll go second. Bars. I know we have a poisson. Poisson probability distribution, we had 3.6. We want to know if there's 7. And we have a 0.042%. Or I'm sorry, a 4.2%. A probability of 0.4, a 0.042, a percentage of 4.2%. And so the Poisson distribution talks about the chance of a given number within an interval range. And this is our, our, our three main discrete probabilities. Um, in the next um, segments, we're going to look at the continuous variables 
um, and what continuous probability distributions look like. We're really going to focus on the normal distribution.